Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to go through the Lakeside Crystal Cave dungeon and then also the boss fight. It's going to be separated into two separate parts, uh, the first part being the dungeon. Um, going over where it is located on the map is going to be located, uh, if you look here, obviously this is going to still be the Lyernia East section of the game, just southwest of the Lays, uh, Last Kiar Ruins. Um, and it's going to be outside this, uh, this little cliff face right here. It's kind of hidden away. For this, I do recommend that you have the lantern on because it, um, the cave is going to actually be kind of dark and you do want to have a, a shield. Um, speaking of which, you do want to have a shield with the highest uh, physical damage negation. And if you have uh, anything that's going to increase your robustness, that's going to help immensely. Um, we are also going to use the winged sword insignia. This may help us. And for the first time, um, so Toothless Monster, a recent commenter, um, you were talking about how you use the jellyfish. The jellyfish in this cave is actually going to be incredibly useful. Uh, specifically with the boss fight. Uh, going through here, and one other uh, subs or one other YouTuber that I do want to mention uh, as we're going down here is XP Wizard. I'm going to link his channel down below. He has some of the best, if not the best, character creation um, guides out there for this game. He has, as of the recording of this video, his most recent ones are uh, Siri from the Witcher series and Hellboy from, obviously, Hellboy. Uh, so definitely go look at his uh, channel. He's got tons of other ones. Hit him with your recommendations as to what you want to see, um, and hopefully he'll do a video on it. Uh, obviously, whenever you come in, the first couple things you're going to see is going to be the Sight of Grace, and then this treasure chest on the right-hand side. If you open up the treasure chest, you do get one arterial leaf for free, and then you can hit the summoning pool that's going to be on the left-hand side. You do want to be a little bit careful going down here, because this enemy right here, he's kind of hard to see, and he is, he'll is he jump on you. Actually, uh, we're not going to let him do it, but it's that one, the little guy. He, he jumps on you. For the most part, the enemies in this cave are actually not going to be that uh, that bad. Uh, a lot of them, we've fought these trolls before. You guys will all remember those. Whenever you fight those two, you do want to go up on the left-hand side here. Uh, from here, you, uh, you'll have another enemy. If you have the Assassin's Creed Dagger, obviously, um, in the punish health. There's going to be a little bit of cave moss, and then if you stick up to the side path here and just kind of hug the wall, you'll run all the way over here and get the ever super useful item. Hefty Beast Bone. And then enemies in here are obviously going to drop stuff like Rune Fragments, uh, Glass Shards, so on and so forth. This is going to have a lot of uh, cave moss as well as crystal cave moss in this cave. And then if you go down here, there's like a, a almost a, a like a demi boss or like a semi boss in this area uh, or for this cave. It's one of the uh, demi humans that we actually fought back. I want to say in the coastal cave there was a dual boss fight of these guys. Um, go over here and take out the little guy first, and then the it should just be you and this guy right here, which is incredibly creepy if you see him in the dark. An easy way to defeat this guy without taking any damage is move back to here. Um, he will, he won't be able to reach you, and then he'll have to, like, do this jump move that you'll see here in a second. Maybe if we back up a little bit more, he'll do it. But he has to jump in order to get up on this ledge with us, otherwise he can't reach us. And if you pressure him upon him jumping, there we go, uh, you pressure him upon him jumping, and he'll actually have to jump back down. Um, this is not a great example of that. And you want to be somewhat careful, because obviously he does, um, Oop, nope, we're turning off our lantern, that's bad. You want to be somewhat careful because he does do, obviously, a decent amount of damage, and he does blue damage as well. He's the same as the boss fight in the cave, so if you just apply the pressure, you don't even necessarily need to uh, hit him as he's jumping up. But yeah, uh, for the most part, if you stand around here, you just hit him as he pops up, you'll get him. Uh, and he'll, like, the first thing he's going to want to do is retreat. If you come in here, you can get some more budding cave moss, you can get some silver fireflies... Watch out for this little enemy. It's actually kind of funny. If you're not paying attention to the first time you come in this cave, they will jump on you and spook you. Actually gave me a jump scare. And then you'll get this spear talisman. This is actually going to increase your damage. Um, we'll go ahead and just read it off right now. Uh, yeah. Uh, a talisman depicting a spear and a soldier enhances the counterattacks that are unique to thrusting weapons. Uh, spears are standard weapons for soldiers in the lands between. They made it possible to respond to a ferocious foe with an equally ferocious counterattack. Um, if you do have, like, the, I want to say it's the winged spear, like the dual-headed spear uh, that you can find in the Dragon Burnt Ruins, um, it's going to be useful on weapons like that. 
from here, uh, you're going to kind of jump off the side here, and you're going to kind of just platform your way down. You can pick up the crystal moss, the crystal cave moss right here. Or, I'm sorry, I, saw, I said crystal moss. It's cave moss. Uh, then the crystal moss. Get two more right there. Jump down here. And then you're going to find your new enemy in this location. It's going to be these little uh, crystal slugs. And you want to be kind of careful because they have these magic moves that are deceptively powerful. Like, you look at the enemy and you don't think it's uh, that ferocious. And they also jump. Um, you don't think it's necessarily that ferocious, but they... If they can hit you with that magic, they'll do a fair amount of damage. If you guys do know of any legitimate um, hidden walls in this area, com leave a comment down below and let me know. Uh, heading into the next cavern, you will see a group of the slugs on the right, or left, sorry. Um, and same as before, you just want to make sure you kind of like cut into them. Cut them down as quick as possible so that they don't uh, gang up on you. This is where the... Oh, he's still alive. This is where the... Um, Oh, what's the name of the thing that we're using is? Uh, the Winged Sword Insignia to increase damage as you do more attacks. From here, you have three enemies left before the boss fight. You're going to go here, drop down just below, pick up this item here, and then the three items down below you are actually pretty safe to grab as well. Um, you get the Smithing Stone 2, Lump of Flesh, and the Smithing Stone uh, 4. Then you'll have these three enemies right here. Uh, they are pretty easy to just like sidestep their magic attacks. And then again, just watch out because they can jump in close distance. They uh, like that, that just did. And then from here, you actually have the boss fight just ahead of you. I would recommend having a shield, uh, as I stated at the top of the video. Uh, and we're not necessarily going to need the Cerulean Tears. If this boss does kill you, um, obviously a fog wall will spawn in front of it, which we can see here. Uh, whenever you're coming back uh, on repeat attempts, then I actually recommend killing uh, as many or as few of the jellyfish as you want, or not the jellyfish, the uh, crystal slugs as you want to. Um, but these three out in front of the cave, you want to make sure that you uh, take out each time, purely because whenever you go into this area and you summon up, uh, whether that's wolves or jellyfish, whatever, there's a lot of times that they will aggro the enemies outside the door and they won't actually be able to do damage to them, so they're not helping you in the fight. Otherwise, um, we're going to save this clip and then we'll just uh, cut it to the actual um, fight that we use to win. Upon going into the room, make sure you summon up your spirit jellyfish as fast as possible. You do want to uh, wait at least like a second uh, before you try to call it in because... Um, because whenever you enter the room, it's still going to be grayed out a little bit. You do want to make sure that you're trying to draw some of the attention away from the jellyfish itself. Um, because you can walk and the jellyfish doesn't. Uh, whenever the jellyfish does an attack, you'll see that it does 10 damage and then the boss aggro's onto it. You want to draw his attention so that he doesn't just kill the jellyfish outright. Because you want to make sure that the jellyfish has ample time to do its uh, to apply its poison effect. This boss is going to be susceptible to poisons as well as bleeds, uh, so the jellyfish and the Uji Katana are going to be incredibly useful here. All right, we now have the bleed ap applied to the boss itself, so now it really kind of becomes a waiting game. We actually almost don't even care if he takes out the jellyfish at this point. Um, we can use the jellyfish as a distraction to go in and get our uh, free hits on him. And we can still kind of split the focus a bit. But because the, po uh, the poison is already applied, we've kind of already won the fight. We see that he's not aggroed onto us, so we can go ahead and get close to him while he's uh, distracted. Go ahead and get our three hits. And then, right here, we can back up and let him just bleed out, essentially. Or poison out. We'll just go ahead and play keep away. Uh, now remember that, uh, if you guys remember the four long hound ever goal, uh, this, you remember that this character is quite aggressive. Take that opportunity, where we used to be able to do the mighty shots against him, we're going to take that opportunity to heal, and if he does it again, then we'll go ahead and punish him with some sword. That one will actually go ahead and punish him with the sword too, just to end the fight quicker, um, but obviously if you're low health, don't worry about it. And the big thing is the poison is going to be the most useful thing. Uh, for this, we do get the Cerulean Amber Medallion. Uh, so we'll go ahead and read that. Uh, it's the same as the Crimson Amber Medallion from the beginning of the game that you can choose. That's going to increase your overall HP. But this one is going to be to, uh, there it is, to boost your overall FP. So it reads as a medallion with Cerulean Amber inlaid boosts maximum focus points. 
The Erd Tree's old sap becomes amber, treasured as the most precious of jewels in the Age of Godfrey, the first Elden Lord. A primordial life energy resides inside. This does also open up a kind of an area back here um, where you can go. There's not a lot here. The main two things being that there is a site of grace, and then these two right here. The, uh, the it's going to be. Well, tarnished. We'll let you listen. What do you want? I told the old hearing brute that I possess no such malleum, or have you come to take more from me? Was my other half not enough? So that is actually, she's just going to repeat I those line of dialogues um, whenever we talk to her again. Mother. So uh, kind of the thing is we need to make sure that we find the medallion that she's uh, talking about and then come back here later in the game. Uh, obviously, you can light that, and then you will have the uh, the Slumbering Wolf's Shack Sight of Grace that you can teleport to. And aside from that, that's going to be it for the cave and the boss fight. Uh, don't forget, uh, look up XP Wizard on YouTube. His, his channel is going to be linked in the description below. He has phenomenal um character creation so definitely go check those out leave a comment as to like which ones you guys would like to see him do uh and then don't forget to like subscribe and comment to this channel